one of the silver linings to this pandemic is that I've been blessed to participate in the various prayer groups or online Bible study or prayer groups. And one of the most common things we do in these groups is a practice called Lectio Divina, which is Latin for divine reading, which is an ancient method of reading the scriptures that really makes them come alive and allows a person to see how God is working and speaking to them in the concrete realities of their lives. Anyways, I won't go into Lectio Divina too much because it's a topic for another day. All I will say is that if you haven't experienced Lectio Divina before, either personally or as part of a group, highly recommend you give it a try. <clears throat> and quite often what will happen to me anyways, when I'm in a group doing Lectio Divina, what will happen is this. So the group that I'm participating in is going through, is reading a scripture passage that's already somewhat familiar to me. So like when Jesus calms the storm at sea or the Christmas story. So these are stories that I, and perhaps many of you, know off by heart, like the back of your hand. But what's interesting is that when each person in the group shares what they got out of the story, inevitably, what will happen is that a person will mention a word or a phrase that really sticks out to them and explain why. And it's an angle to the story that I've never heard before, or I never previously considered. So it's kind of like a light bulb moment for me. And it's one that I'll, I'll use to later enrich my own private prayer. So the point is that the Word of God is always active. And it has the ability to speak to us in every circumstance of our lives. And God is more than capable of taking a well-known Bible story, for example, like the Good Samaritan, and making it take on a whole new meaning for our lives. That is, if we give the Lord the time and the space to do this. And experiences like this are confirmed by many of the saints, like St. Catherine of Siena, who we celebrate today. In one of her letters, St. Catherine writes how the Holy Trinity is like an ever-flowing fountain that never runs dry, and it always renews, and it always surprises. So test that out for yourself today. Maybe pick up a Bible and flip it to a scripture passage from anywhere in the Bible. It could be uh, a story in the Gospel, it could be one of the Psalms, it could be an Old Testament story. It doesn't need to be that long, but read it over slowly and prayerfully and ask the Lord to reveal himself to you in a fresh and in a surprising way.